What's up people? My name is Nims. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to part two of the butterfly painting series. Okay, so if you saw part one, you'd see that I did this big butterfly painting. I'll leave a link at the end so you can go and check that video out. Now I'm going to create a butterfly tornado inspired painting. It's not as carefree as this painting that I painted but still is fun um, and a lot more detail so if you want to come along and paint with me or you just want to see the process of how I create this butterfly tornado then please keep watching as you can see to start off with I am mixing a white and a dark green to create a beautiful lightish lime green. I'm just mixing that up with my spatula before I go ahead and spray my board with some water. Um, yeah, and then I'll just spread the whole color across the board evenly. Also for this, you can see I'm using a big flat brush. I mixed up some more green and white to add another layer to the canvas. I think I added a bit too much white so it looks a bit lighter, but I promise you this canvas is still green. So, I was painting and I somehow messed this little section up. So I just painted over it and then I started again. So I'll just show you what I'm doing. I'm just doing some background colours right now of pinks and purples. They're just like outlines of butterflies right now they're they're the base so they're not going to be the main focus so i'm just like building um background colors right now really um just to give it more depth and make it look like there's a lot more butterflies than there are and yeah and then the main ones are going to look a bit more detailed i'm just taking pinks and purples and white i want it to be quite light because the butterflies on top are going to be darker um, so I'm just sort of doing like a flower shape just going to slightly twist it for my comfort oops not enough paint should put more white um, yeah just kind of like this I'm just going to twist it again yeah this is what I'm doing so far and I'm just adding whites and purples to give it a bit more depth For this flower-like shape, I am using a small round brush. I think the number is number four for the brush. And for the bigger flowers, I just use the same brush or I use one slightly bigger. I'm not showing you the whole process of these shapes as it can be a bit repetitive and you get the gist of what I'm doing. But you can see that I'm using purple tones, pink tones, whites to mix them to create lighter shades of purples and pinks. I'm blending them all together so you get various tones. Most butterflies you can see I'm keeping quite flat and open because I just want to fill out the background space. And then you can see this one I'm doing sort of like a big winged <laughs> side butterfly just to switch it up a little, you know? If I'm going to be completely honest, I didn't really know where I was going with these whole butterfly flowers. I was just trying to fill out the background, wing it and hope for the best. It's not until later that I thought to do more detailed butterflies on top. Um, that was my initial plan but yeah, just at this stage I didn't really have a vision of what it was going to turn out like. With that said though, I absolutely loved the pinks, purples, whites coming together. I just felt like it looked a bit more flat and it's not until later that I thought, you know what, the first canvas was multicolored, let's incorporate that into this canvas. Also, I just think it's such a nice touch to add artwork along the sides of your canvas as well. 
You saw that at the start of this painting, I actually messed up a little bit, but I didn't want to cut that out of this video because I want to show you guys that mistakes can be fixed. So I have completed the background colors. Now I am just layering all of the detailed butterflies on top, as you can see. I love how the underneath colours add depth, that's what I was kind of aiming for. I've done a few already, as you can see. I just wanted to perfect a few butterflies off camera and now I'm going to show you the rest. I've already painted a few on top with black paint, um, so yeah, let's go ahead and fill in the rest. Okay, let's start with this big butterfly right here. You can see I'm using yellows, oranges, pinks and a little bit of purple on this one. Then I'll come back to it later to add some more detailing and lines and texture so it doesn't just look like a butterfly full of splodges. So this butterfly wasn't a mistake but I just wanted to cover it up because I didn't like the way it was sticking out of the purple butterfly next to it. So I'm just outlining another butterfly. I'm creating these butterfly shapes with a very thin liner brush. I love this green and yellow mix. So let's bring it on this big butterfly. The butterflies slash flower shapes underneath as you know, were just to fill up background space. So now I'm more or less covering them up with detailed butterflies. You want to blend with soft light stroke motions to blend the colors into each other and perhaps choose colors that are easily blended such as greens and yellows, yellows and oranges. Um, so it just looks more seamless, you know? I don't know how well you can see, but I'm using this metallic pink. I use um, quite a few metallic colours, golds, silvers, etc. to this piece just to add a little more dimension. And plus it looks pretty. I mix that metallic pink with a darker pink shade too, again just so it's not one flat colour. I'm just outlining butterflies at this stage. You can see I've already done quite a few. They are all different shapes and sizes, just like how they are in real life. For most butterflies, I outline them and colour them in, and then later on I go back and fill them out with a bit more detail. I'm making these quite multicoloured especially this one right here. <laughs> I don't think they're this multicolored in real life, but um, I guess that's the fun of art. You can bend the rules. Plus it's for a child and children love color, so that's perfect. This particular one basically has all of the colors of the rainbow in it. <laughs> but like I said earlier, I wanted it to tie in with the colors from the first painting that I did. And I'm using a round brush or my really thin liner brush to fill in the butterflies. Just going back to this butterfly earlier, I added some purple to it. Now I'm just going back in to add some gold, keep it metallic-y, you know. You can see now I am adding detailing, lines, texture to these butterflies 
Um, butterflies in real life also have dots and lines all over them. So I was just trying to replicate that, but without the symmetry of the lines, like how butterflies do in real life. For a smooth glide, I add water to the black paint and um, it also makes the black look less harsh. I'm super happy with the outcome. I absolutely love the colours. I love how I made it look textured. You know I'm so extra as well. I added some butterflies around the sides. I've just come into some natural light so you can see the colours a lot clearer. You can actually see the background colour now as well. It's kind of a minty green that I went for um, to complement the pinks. Yeah. I injected a bunch of colour into it to match the first piece that I had done. Um, even though I stuck to the green and pink theme, I just added bursts of colours everywhere. So yeah, I reckon the client will be very happy with it. Please stay tuned to part three of this series. I'm excited to show you what I've got in store. I'm excited to paint with you. Let me know if you've tried out any of my paintings or if you've watched my videos and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Follow my creative page and my personal page on Instagram to keep you updated with more of my artwork and what I'm up to with my art stuff. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel. You know the drill by now, I say this all the time. Hit that bell button to keep you notified with upcoming content that I have. And I will see you in part three of this painting series. Peace.